And welcome back to a new episode of Dragon Quest XI. Uh, making our way out of Helidor through downtown. I gotta make my way over there. I think it's over here. Yes. Could definitely get lost in here. Um. There we go. We gotta make our way out of town and then to the mango grove. And the mango grove, from what I remember, got some interesting creatures. So I'm looking forward to getting over there um, and taking care of business. guy from before um, what I love about games like this is after you get to like certain points in the game you can definitely like double back just to clear out things go through doors um, uh, d those red or purple door Ooh. grammy little uh, secret the posh folks were the wall don't like to hear about Hey, for on here. Well, if you got a reason to stick around, I wouldn't bother. What? I'm going to the mango grove? It's the monkey dome, but if you insist, it's due south of her. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We'd better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. All right. Yeah, we just gotta follow this route. We're good. We're pretty good level-wise, so I don't think it's gonna be an issue. My only issue right now... Oh, we haven't fought one of you in a while. My only issue right now is staying awake. I've completely cut out all caffeine. So this is gonna be a fun two weeks. Uh, well, let's go with a simple attack for now. Oh, jeez. All right. Ha! Huh. Easy. Yeah. <gasps> oh, look at the little kitties. And the stumps of wood. I want to see what you guys look like. Don't run away from me. A stump jump appears. Uh, let's go with the frizz. I hope we're not too overpowered. Kitty. Oh boy, we got a grouping here. Uh, okay. Let's go with a simple attack since everything's done. So we got the great saber cub, which is a cute little cat. Uh, the platy punk and the uh, Bodkin Archer. So let's go with the Saber Cub. Take him out. I was hoping you'd go for the Side of Punk, but okay. There we go. Uh, Eric went up a level. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at what he's got. Got five. He's got swords, knives, boomerangs, guile. We got for knives. Oh, we can do this one. Critical hit chance when wielding. Um, that's eight. Yeah. 
that opens up Cobra Strike, stabs an enemy in such a way that they're occasionally envenomated. I've never heard that word before. Um, that takes seven to get. Okay. I got six critical when wielding sword. Ooh, Dragon Slash. I like Dragon Slash. Um. What are you? Eight. Yeah, let's, for now, let's focus on getting the sword stuff done. And then we'll, after we get this stuff done, then we'll double down into this. Uh, let's go with you. That opens up, uh, sword stance. Adopts a subtle stance that can greatly increase the number of parries performed. Okay. And then, I think once we get this one, it should unlock this one. One of these two. Excuse me. You're gonna run? Yep, you ran. We are too high of a level for you. Sleeping hibiscus. At this point, I just think everything is gonna run from us. Maybe we are too high of a level. We're only level like nine. an eye out for material. I'm a traveling salesman and a celebrator running into each other like this. I'm going to offer you some special discounts. Have a look. Welcome to my roving emporium. How can I, uh, how can I serve you? Um. I mean, leather hat, maybe, but... I'm not seeing anything that would be beneficial. Small scale? Medicinal herb. Uh, a fragile fingernail sized flake from a fish or a reptile. I think we'll be fine. For now. Another saber cub. Ooh. What in the world? A dancing devil appears. That's weird. Wow. Okay. Another one bites. The Might be a little over p, overpowered. Uh, you can tell I'm tired. I just completely gave up on that. Either op or overpowered, and I just put them both together. Now what's neat is I can just hit triangle, go into, I believe, miscellaneous, heal all, and I'll use up MP and I'll heal up whatever I need to. That is a nice little thing, especially when you have a grouping of people. Just making sure there's nothing else we can pick up here. Oh. Uh, Wake Robin. This way, I believe. Um, head through the mangrove road to east uh, and east towards Cobblestone. So we need to go the woodcutter's hut. It looks like we need to cross there. Want to fight? Yeah, you do. Nice. Finish that one off pretty, pretty gosh darn quickly. Ooh, that is not appealing to look at. Uh, fight. We're getting off real slow here. Everything else is moving quicker than us. Okay. Uh, let's keep moving. Oh, I see something over here. 
here. Nice. He's really eager to fight, but man, he goes down pretty simply. Just with <laughs> one hit. Easy. This little guy over here just wandering around. Uh, no, let's keep going. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, we should be fine. Yeah. Ooh, we got a place to save, too. Look at that! A campsite! And <laughs> just when we needed one. Still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. Oh boy. What does he get? Ooh. Behold, oh yeah, I forgot about this. The fun size forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porta pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin. You name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. Oh, I gotta remember how to do this now. Okay. Uh, learn how to make bronze swords. Cool. Uh, learn how to make divine daggers. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out, and you're sure to find some beauties. So, this thing is extremely fun, and I got really addicted to it last time. I just gotta remember how to do it. It's been a little... It's, it's been a good while since I did it last time. Um, let jump right into it it's one size forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that make use of raw materials you collect on your adventures new recipes can be found in treasure chests and on bookshelves and you'll be able to acquire the ingredients you need by defeating monsters or investing uh, investigating sparkling spots which is what I've been trying to keep my eye open for go ahead and try to make your first masterpiece with the recipe Eric just gave you all right uh, Let's go with a sword. Oh, I hope I remember this. I'm nervous. Okay, so smithing items can't be simpler. Select bash to start beating the ingredients into shape and finish when you're ready to wrap things up. Hammer away at each individual area with your uh, porta pounder to fill up the blue gauge next to it and aim to get every gauge into the green zone. Yep, I remember this now. Uh, but you also have, each time you do that, your temperature goes down. So you only have a set amount of hits that you can actually do. Otherwise, it's not going to work out and you could fail. So you just got to keep your eye open for that. Okay, so that's how much it does. Yeah, but watch the temperature. It goes from 950. That one was perfect. That one's already in the green, so we don't want to do anything with it. Uh, if you can get it right on the dot where that yellow one is, that's perfect. You don't want to move that. Um, so, 
you can get uh, flourishes that um, that make it to where, or like, you can do certain hits on it to make it go up a little bit, to make it go down a little bit. It, certain things that you learn throughout playing the game. Um, looks like it would probably turn out brilliantly. Okay, finish. Plus three, cool. What do we have now? Two perfectionist pearls. Uh, reworking equipment. You receive, uh, you receive perfectionist pearls each time you successfully forge a piece of equipment. You can use these to attempt to rework an item with the aim of doing an even better job. Don't worry about ruining your hard work or hard uh, hard one work of arts, even if you fail to rework them, uh, something you won't lose it. And if you succeed, you'll come away with something truly special. Uh, sure, let's go for weapons, swords. I guess we already did that one. So my goal for 100%ing this is that I would like to... Nope, stop it. Nice. I would like to go through and craft every possible item I can in this game. There we go. Divine Dagger plus two. And we got two Perfectionist Pearls. Uh, you can also do armor and accessories. So, um, like I said, there are plenty of things. Yes, it did. I want according to plan. Natural, don't rest on your laurels just yet, though. This is deep, deep art we're talking about here. Oh, by the way, you can bust out the fun size forge anytime you want. You just have to head to a campsite or dig it out of your bag. Alright, I think it's time to call it a day. We've been through a lot. Better grab some rest while you can. Oh my god, I had so much fun with that last time. I just... I would farm materials for days. Ah, uh, sun's high in the sky already. Time for us to head to Cobblestone. We're for crafting. Oh, and we're getting a trophy big hitter. What is the big hitter trophy? We're for crafting a plus three piece of equipment on the fun side of forge. Sweet. Um, equipment, the copper, so that bumps it up to 50, which is awesome, um, auto equip changes this, really? I guess defense. I kind of want to keep it though. If it's gonna, it only raises those by by two or by that one by two, but it lowers the other ones by quite a bit. So I kind of want to hold off on that. Eric has a bronze sword. Let's give him the ooh divine dagger. Even divine dagger plus two gives him forty-five. All right. He's gonna follow us. Okay. Let's take a look at this house real quick. Can't come in here and not smash the pots. Uh, I, you know, economies of scale. Dude, that's fine. Lawrence how to, uh, learned how to make scale shields and scale armor. Uh, 
Uh, the passage of countless years has taken its toll and reduced this ancient tome to little more than a faded cover uh, around some tattered scraps of paper and thread. Interesting. Oh, we just matched up the bridge. How are we meant to get across now? Guess we're gonna have to find another way. Let's take a look around. we head this way there's a little icon on the map that says we should the mark on North's hand is glowing it seems to be responding to the curiously shaped plant hold your hand out to it yes only yesterday and now some blighter's gone and destroyed it again if i ever find out who did this i swear i'll Ta -da! you called tricky devil at your service <laughs> i went to a lot of trouble to smash up this stupid bridge i'm not about to let you fix it again here Get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam! <laughs> now that's what I call tricky! One minute you're a silly old woodcutter, the next minute you're a smelly old dog! I'm a devilish genius! <laughs> Now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. Ha 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 ha! Bye, doggy! Stay! <laughs> An empty treasure chest! I think I've just hit upon my most devilish trick yet! What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well... All I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. All right. Looked like it wasn't too far off. It was still over here. Or not. I wonder if it is a little further away. a cow. Are you a weather cow? What's up? Oh, wrong person. 
Uh, that's what kind of weather we can look forward to. Looks like clearly guys around here all day tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow could go one way or the other. <laughs> uh, buns. What a peculiar cow. It seems our Boeing friends know a thing or two about what to expect weather-wise. Cool. I think we go this way. Um. Yep. <laughs> Here come my next victims. Ta-da! Introducing the one, the only, Tricky Devil. Uh, hi. Hey. You're supposed to be shocked by my devilish trickiness. No? Time for plan B then. Take this! Okay. <laughs> Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you <laughs> just do, oh, cheeky devil? Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's go! Um need to heal then heal. Okay, so let's go with let's go with abilities. So far. Bye bye, boo boos. Oh, he heals. Oh, I could take one more. Eric can't. Oh, there we go. Eric got a crit. Takes 42 points of damage. Tricky Devil is defeated. 102 experience points each and 74 gold as a party. Oh, uh, this can't be happening. Looks like the joke's on me this time. Uh. Hey there, you two. <laughs> oh, look, it's our pal the pooch. <laughs> And he's back to normal. Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter, by the way. And I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay you? It's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up. It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. That was simple. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. I like putting in the extra time to you don't hang about, huh? Thanks. Have you really helped us out? The extra levels because they're actually coming through to help out a little more. Uh, I remember in the past, kind of breezing through some of the battles and not going to them, and fights like that, I didn't die, but they took a lot longer. So now, being leveled up is definitely helping. About this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. 
Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life, as some call it. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. Interesting. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil. A piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the world tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing. But did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the world tree. And you've got grey hair, too. Life just isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favourite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Okay. Gotta move on. Now that it's done. Oh, trophy for that. Oh, looks like we got another cow. Same cow from before. Over two. I think this is the same cow from before. There are different cows scattered throughout. I think there might be an achievement attached to them. Okay. So. Um, we gotta take a left. Go this way. I'm not seeing anything we have to pick up either, which is kind of unfortunate. I like building up a good stockpile of materials as I play. Especially early on, because the more you don't have to take time later on to farm, the better. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Derp, I know where we are. Let's make our way back to Cobblestone. Like, this area looks awfully familiar. Horse would have come in real. Oh, stop running. That horse would have come in real handy. It's rare to see travelers here in Cobblestone. I hope you enjoy your stay, though. We don't have an inn or anything, I'm afraid. Uh, what we do have is Amber. She's always very hospitable, and I'm sure... Have you, have you, 
She lives over on the east. Wait, what? That's interesting. Take a little detour. Is that you, dear? I'm cooking your favorite stew. It'll be ready any minute now. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table and I'll just give it a last little... Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? Uh, Nord explains who he is to Amber. You're not gonna lie, I completely forgot about this part. My boy is six years old. Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant! Oh, Don't make me say it twice! I know what happened. This is gonna get interesting. This is a trippy part. So there, something did happen. Uh, it's interesting. That little girl and that dog should look familiar. I'm gonna get it back. Girl's headscarf was stuck in a tree, tree before? Yes. Huh. Thank you, mister. My name's Gemma. Who are you? Ooh, got a young Gemma. But that can't be right. Oh, wait, I get it. That's not your name. You mean you're looking for him, right? He went to look for Chalky. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Wait, where am I going now? Uh. Oh, there she is. She's a little slow. So we need to make our way down to this little river down here. We're gonna see somebody. Hey granddad, can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off and now it's stuck up a tree. <laughs> well, we can't be having that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave Grandpa us knows what's up. to talk? All right. <laughs> 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 
Well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? Oh, I knew it. I'd known you since you were a baby, after all. I knew it was you right away. But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell you, old Grandad, what's on your mind? I see. So, you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything, instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that, hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. Oh, oh but what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grown up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me, right? Bye now. Uh, let's go f see what we can find. I'm glad we got to see Grandpa one more time. He was kind of in the center of Cobblestone. Okay. We'll see what's up. Yeah, I... Uh, I... I completely forgot about that part. There's so much stuff that I'm revisiting now that I'm playing the game again. And, and this game has so many twists and turns. Which make it even more fun to play. Uh, that is definitely one of them. Huh. Thanks for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play anytime you like. <laughs> it's ages till I gotta go home. What should we play now? Well, we could play, um... Things are starting to get a little fuzzy. Okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. <gasps> yeah. I can't believe they do this. That's gut wrenching. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing, and so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Nora tells Eric all about what he saw in the cobblestone of the past. Wow. So you... you went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... And yourself? That is seriously weird. Yeah, it is. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. 
Where did you say it was? East of the village? Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. Okay. So, this is really unfortunate. We need to whoop, make our way over by the church. I'm a traveling priest. I heard a terrible rumor that the village was to be raised to the ground and rushed from Heliodor to try to reason with the troops. Alas, it seems I was too late. King Cornelian ordered the entire place be destroyed for its role in raising the Akrutus Dark Spawn. But do the people of Cobblestone really deserve this? Seeing such terrible devastation, one wonders who the real sinners are. At least the troops did not destroy the church. That is something. Uh, and inside you will find a bed where a traveler may yet rest his weary bones. Now, though things may look bleak, one may still find comfort in the old lady's rules. How may our church assist you, faithful disciple? We are going to save it there. That is um, a gut punch to come back here and see the village like that. Um, especially having that conversation with that grandpa, which was very heartwarming. Uh, but we're going to save it here. And I will see you guys in the next episode, hopefully for uh, whatever our grandpa has buried um, uh, by the, the three-sided rock. Um, so let's save it for today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care and peace out.